In the press conference leading up to the important match between Tottenham and Everton, manager Ange Postacoglu shared a series of updates that will directly impact Spurs' squad. Let's summarize what was highlighted in the conference. But before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you receive exclusive updates on all things Tottenham that we publish here. Postacoglu confirmed that Dominic Solanke will not be available for the clash against Everton due to an ankle injury he sustained in the last match. The coach mentioned that Solanke managed to finish the previous game, but the injury worsened, forcing him to miss the upcoming fixture. Rodrigo Bentancur is also out due to concussion protocols. Although he has recovered well, the manager prefers to be cautious to ensure Bentancur is 100% before returning to play. The manager took the opportunity to praise Christian Romero, who is set to make his 100th appearance for Tottenham. Poste Coglo highlighted Romero as a key player, commending his winning mentality and the positive impact he has had both at the club and for his national team. Postacoglu also spoke about the new signing Wilson Odebert, confirming that he is available for the game against Everton. The coach emphasized that Odebert is a versatile dribbler who can play in various attacking positions, bringing a new dimension to the team. He praised the young player for his skill and potential, especially considering his rapid development in European football. Regarding transfer activity, Postacoglu revealed that Tottenham still plans to sell a few more players before the transfer window closes. He explained that, although the focus has been on strengthening the squad with new signings, the club is still adjusting the team to align with the desired playing philosophy. The manager commented on recent departures, including Oliver Skip, Emerson Royal and Joe Roden, who have brought substantial fees to the club. Additionally, several players have been loaned out or transferred, such as Eric Dyer, Hoybjerg, Brian Gill, and Ryan Sessegnon. Postacoglu highlighted that, despite having a deep squad, there are areas that could be further strengthened, and Tottenham continues to seek opportunities to bolster the team before the window closes. The manager emphasized the importance of starting the season well, especially in the first home game and expressed optimism about the team's ability to convert good performances into victories. But what about you, Tottenham fans? What are your expectations for the game against Everton? How do you view Tottenham's transfer activity and potential new additions to the squad? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you stay updated on all Tottenham transfer news this window. Stay tuned. Come on, you Spurs.